its tree And it's my joy to honor you In all I do And I honor you In all I do I honor you In all I do Take it on. There is nothing worth me clinging to but you. Search my Search my hands Wash me from the stains Till what remains is true And I lift my hand Shining as the sun You're the kindest one And I know So give my voice And I may To hold nothing
You're the kindest one and I know I saw you my voice And I make my vow Until Let 
spiritual peacefulness be evident to all. Be anxious about nothing, and no things will give you praise. I'll be anxious about nothing, and no things will give you thanks. I'll be anxious about nothing. I'll give glory. about nothing and no things will give you thanks I'll be anxious about nothing and no things will give you thanks I'll be anxious about nothing I'll give glory I'll give glory to the Lord I'll give glory to Bye.
we say thank you for taking those stripes on your back. Thank you that you would lay down your life, that we could have life in life more abundant. Lord, we thank you for the power of the cross being put on display in this city. Lord, we thank you for the report of the Lord out of Wichita, Kansas, Lord. Father, we thank you for the testimony of healing revival breaking out these last days. And Father, we bless you that you are faithful and you are true to your promise that when your people humble themselves and pray, God, when your people seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, it is written that you will hear us from heaven, that you will forgive us our sin, and that you will arise with healing. And we thank you God, we come asking for an increase of the activity of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we lift up every congregation. God, we lift up every believer. And we ask you for healing revival. We ask you for a revelation of Jesus Christ as the God who heals all of our diseases. Lord, we ask you that as the church, we would come short in no gift. Father, we ask you that in every prayer meeting, when we lay our hands on the sick, when we declare the name of Jesus, when we ask in the name of Jesus that each and every one would recover. Lord, we ask you that in this city, when preachers open their mouth, that you would release the testimony of Jesus. We ask you for healing to flow, that you would send your word and you would heal them all from the pulpits of this city, Lord.
Christ is the God who heals. Father, we're asking for those signs and wonders that is in your heart, that they may be done through the name of Jesus. Father of glory, we say the hour has come to glorify your son. We say that Jesus is worthy of our love. He is worthy of our affections. God, he is worthy of a harvest of souls. He is worthy of every sick person in this city being brought under the power of those stripes, the very blood that he shed. He is worthy of a healing revival. He is worthy of everything that he paid for. So we ask in Jesus' name, stretch out your hand and come with a healing revival.
for those who have chronic illnesses, for those who have cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, scoliosis, for those who have amputated limbs. Jesus, you are the only solution. You are the only hope for healing. There is no other name by which we are saved, both soul and body. I ask that you would come and serve. I ask that you would come and serve us, that you would give us power. That when we stretch out our hands to heal the sick, that they will recover. That when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that your name will be glorified through these signs and wonders. That we will say it is only Jesus Christ only God, the only answering God, the only one who is alive, the one who is seated at the right hand of the Father. He has all power. The sickness and disease was crushed at the cross. It is under the feet of Jesus Christ. So Father, I ask that you would glorify your son in this city by healing in Jesus' name. put Jesus on display in this city. It's not too hard for you. But Jesus, Jesus, you have all authority. Come and be my down in our city. Father, put your son on display in Kansas City. There is nothing impossible for you. Father, 
in your heart. Lord, we contend for our friends and our family. Lord, we say no more pain. God, we say no more sickness. Jesus, you are worthy of what you paid for. We ask you to manifest your healing power today in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you for every sickness, every disease that the doctors say have no cure. God, we ask that you would put the power of Jesus on display. In Jesus' name. Jesus, I ask that you would come and openly triumph over sickness and disease in this city and show yourself strong. Father, we ask you that as we stretch out our hands, that you would stretch out your hand through us and that we would see the greater works than these in our day and in our time. We just declare your name, Jesus, over the city, God. We just ask that you would heal minds, that you would dissolve brain tumors, Lord, that you would heal Alzheimer's, Lord, and that you would dissolve migraines in the name of Jesus. Abba, we come before your throne right beside Jesus. We come and pray with him. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. Yeah, 
Lord, break that over your people, Lord. God, I ask that as your people meditate on the love of Christ, they would be filled with power from on high to minister through love and healing the sick. Father, I ask that to every physical frame in need of your touch, you would come and you would make known the power of your blood. God, I ask that your power would be made known, Lord, that people would say it's not by men's works, but by the power of the Lord Jesus that these are healed. Lord Jesus, we pray that your spirit be poured out over this city so that many more will know that by your stripes they will be made whole. breakthrough for the person who's been praying for months and years God, I pray that you put your healing hand on them and take away the opposition of the enemy. We just ask Holy Spirit that you just have your way in Kansas City. We ask for your healing power to be poured out in this city in Jesus' name. Lord God, we just ask we speak to the human hearts in Jesus' name. Every immune system, Lord, every broken piece of body, Lord God, we just speak to it. We say be made whole in the name of Jesus.
rest of us become the ministry team. Let's look around. Let's get two or three around, each one standing. And I'll have side group healing prayer over here for Pamela Stead, Julia DeBert, Richard Town Sr., Kelsey Hayes. If uh, two or three of you want to join me.
from Isaiah. Um, so Father, we just take our stand and we just ask you, Father, just like fire burns the brushwood and fire causes water to boil, that you would make your name known, Father, to your adversaries in this city, that we would tremble at your presence. Father, we ask you for uh, every congregation in this city. Father, we pray that every place, Lord, where your people gather, that your presence would come like fire. Father, we ask you, Lord, like the stories that we've read, Father, like the days of old where we've seen, Lord, we've seen a picture of you moving, Father, with revival fire, Lord, where the church was changed by your presence, Lord, where the church was empowered and revived by your presence, by your manifestation. Father, we ask you that you would do it in our day, in our time, Lord, that in America and in our city, Lord, that we would see, Father, the church lit on fire with love for Jesus. Father, we ask you in every congregation, in every denomination, in every house church, in every home group, in every Christian family, Father, that the, their hearts would be revived by the fire of your presence. Father, that you would visit our city. Father, that we know that, Lord, we the only change, Father, that we that we will see is if you come, if you open up the heavens. Father, we ask you to open the heavens. Father, over every prayer meeting, every small group, every Sunday morning service, we ask you that your presence would come. Father, that we would be on the floor before your presence. Father, that we would understand the knowledge of God through experience. Father, that we would know the fire of God that causes water to boil. Father, that we would know your word like a hammer and a fire, that we would know your presence in holiness and in the fear of the Lord. Father, we ask you to turn the city upside down. We ask you to give us a revival, Father, that turns, Father, a reviving of the church that turns the lost to Jesus. Father, that we would be a witness of burning and shining light. Father, that the lost, Father, that those in addiction and brokenness blindness would see that we are the light of the world father and turn to you we ask you for the harvest that has been promised in this city we ask you that the time would be now that the that the dead would even hear the voice and that they would see a great light father that those in darkness would see a great light father that those who are lost would be found father we ask you to turn this city we ask you to turn this city to the lord to send revival in jesus We ask you to open the heavens, Father. Father, we remember the prophecies. We remember the words that you spoke, Lord. You said that you chose Kansas City. Father, we ask you for the fulfillment, for the manifestation. Father, that you would use this city, that you would use this people, Father, to bring glory to Jesus. We ask you to open up the heavens. We ask you for unprecedented revival. Father, for drug addicts all over the city. Father, for the lost all over the city to hear the voice of the Son of God and turn in Jesus' name. Unmistakable, irrefutable, we ask you 
every bored heart in this city would be lit on fire with love and adoration for Jesus. Father, that every congregation, Father, every group of believers, Father, that gather in this city would find the fire of your presence resting on them like tons of fire and like the warmth on the heart and the tenderness, the tenderizing of your presence. Father, that we would be more wholehearted, that we would obey Jesus, that we would surrender all to him. Father, that we would be a witness to those who are in darkness. We ask you, Father, to do what only you can do. Father, do what will change the destiny of this city and intervene. Father, we ask you to break in to every high school. Father, the community colleges. Father, every place of education. Father, every workplace that your presence would come, that we would see healings, signs and wonders, that we would see the laws turning, that, we, that you would put the harvest net in our hands, and we would see the dead raised, the sick healed in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you for unprecedented revival in this city in Jesus' name. Come and send revival to the city, God. We believe that it's in your heart. thousands and thousands would come to the Lord. the fullness of your promises. You promised there would be 300,000 souls saved. Like an explosion of glory, you we said your presence your would glory. come. It will come when we pray. Send your fire, you send revival. Send your fire, send your revival. Send your fire, send your revival. Send your fire, send your revival.
broken legs restored. Father, we ask you for your glory in our midst, Lord. Nothing less than you promised. You said we would do the works that you did and even greater works. Father, until we see it with our eyes, we will not relent. We will not give up hope, Lord. Today, in this city, Lord, we want to see the manifestation of your power. Lord, we are your children. We ask you for the Holy Ghost today, and you will not give us a stone. Lord, you will give us power. Today, Lord, we declare for our city and for your church, Lord, power in the Holy Ghost, Lord, healing, signs and wonders and miracles. Lord, you said they would follow those who believe. We believe in you today, Lord. We declare before this city, before the principalities, that we believe and the signs and wonders will follow after us. Lord, in this city, would you send revival in your church that would touch the nations in Jesus' name.
were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Lord, I'm crying out, God, for revival to break forth, Lord, in the marketplace. Lord, revival in the early 1900s, God, it began with businessmen, Lord, meeting together to pray and to cry out for their nation. And I'm again, Lord, contending, Lord, that you would raise up men and women in the marketplace that would cry out for revival. God, I'm crying out, Lord, would you pour out your spirit upon your servants? Would they speak forth your word with all boldness, Lord? Would you strengthen them in their inner man, God? Would they be a witness and a testimony of your glory and of your love to their co-workers, God? And I am contending, Lord, for the hearts of the young people in the marketplace, Lord, that analyst, Lord, that is working through the night, God. Even now, would you put your zeal and a burning desire to see revival break forth in his heart, Lord, that they would begin to cry out you turn the hearts of businessmen and women towards you, Lord. I ask, Lord, just for favor on those that know you, Lord, in the marketplace, God, that they be put, Lord, in places of authority, God. Would you pour your spirit upon them, Lord, in Jesus' name. city. God, that you would give us a vision for more. God, I ask you to grant your servants that with all boldness they would preach the gospel and that signs and wonders would be done in the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Father, that you would stretch out your hand. God, every time we stretch out our hand to pray for the sick. Father, every time that we open our mouth, God, we ask you to back us with power. Father, we ask you for the prophetic word that lightning would come from the hands of your servants in this city. 
Father, we ask you to manifest it in our day and in our time, God. Why not today? Why not now, Father? Father, we ask you for a manifestation of your power in the marketplace, in the streets of this city, Father. We ask you for more than healing meetings, God. We ask you for a city of healing, God, a city of restoration. Father, we ask you to visit Kansas City with power. Visit every congregation, every denomination, Lord, with healing power, with revival spirit, God, with an awakening to the first love. Father, we ask you to come to pastors and leaders in this city with visions, with dreams, with the manifestation of your glory. Father, we ask you to come with unprecedented revival. Father, we ask you to come and do everything that's in your heart to do. Make a people ready for the return of Jesus. Make a people ready, God. Make a city ready. God, we ask you to make a pocket of mercy in this city that revival fire would be here in Kansas City, God. Do it with us. Start now in Jesus' name.
eyes Cause you're the sun in my horizon And all my hopes in you Oh Jesus, I can see you now rising I can Your glory and dawn.